What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how you can play GBA for iOS on iOS 13 with a PS4 controller or even an Xbox One controller. It's pretty insane. No jailbreak needed since iOS 13 allows you to connect to these controllers natively. It's a new feature in iOS. Uh, you can play controller supported games obviously from the App Store, but you can also, like I said, uh, use these to uh, play emulators and for this tutorial I'll show you how to do it on GBA for iOS uh, and it basically allows you to play old school games on iOS 13 no jailbreak needed I absolutely love this finally Apple thank you thank you for making this a feature uh, in the past we've had to jailbreak and get controller support and crazy stuff like that but now we can do it out of the box um, so if you guys want, I'll leave a couple links down in the description for the best prices I can find on the PS4 and the Xbox One controllers. Uh, a little tip here for those of you that might have the Xbox One, uh, this is only going to work on the newer style Xbox One controller. There's a difference uh, in the controller right here. Um, and this is the newer version, which does have Bluetooth support. The older controllers do not have that. So keep that in mind. I have some of the older Xbox One controllers uh, and they will not work. Only these newer ones. Like I said, I'll leave uh, links down in the description for both controllers if you guys want to uh, check them out for the best prices I can find. Uh, but anyways, like I said, uh, we're going to connect our controller uh, to our device. I'm going to actually use the uh, PS4 controller in this and show you guys how to connect to it. It's basically going to be the same thing for the Xbox One controller. Uh, so the Xbox One controller, you just power it up and then you click the pair button at the very top here and you'll notice the Xbox light will start flashing and that'll allow you to connect to it. Uh, for the PS4 controller, you hold the PlayStation button and the share button both at the same time and you'll notice that it'll light up and start flashing. It is searching for a device to pair with. Uh, so once you've done that to the controller, all you got to do is go into settings, go into your Bluetooth section, and there you can see the DualShock 4 wireless controller. Go ahead and click on it, and it will connect to it. And as you guys can see, the light is now solid, and we are connected to the PS4 controller. So that is step one. And now we can go ahead and exit out of settings here. Um, the next thing you're going to need is an emulator. The one I'm showing for this tutorial is just GBA for iOS. Uh, it's been around for years and years and years. It's just a really good um, Game Boy Advanced emulator. So this is going to be pretty much for Game Boy Advance games. Keep that in mind. Now the way I downloaded uh, GBA for iOS is I used the Ignition app. If you guys need to see how to get Ignition, I'll leave my video tutorial for it down in the description. So just go ahead and launch Ignition. Go ahead and go into the emulator section here. And then you can scroll down and you will see GBA for iOS right there. Uh, and I wouldn't use the iOS 11 one, just use the GBA for iOS. Go ahead and click on that. And then from here you click on Git and then Install. And that's how you install it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it installed. So now that you have GBA for iOS, you go ahead and launch this. And you'll notice that this list is completely empty. You won't have any games in GBA for iOS. You have to download those manually. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So go ahead and jump into Safari. And the website I like to use is called ROMs Mania. Uh, this is the website I've had the best luck with. And I'm actually going to search for Game Boy Advance games specifically. We'll go ahead and do the side menu here. Go to the ROMs section. This is going to allow you to choose which gaming system you're looking for ROMs. And you go to the Game Boy Advance section here. And we can go ahead and choose uh, which game we want to download. I'll do Legend of Zelda. So now that you've found the game you want, you just scroll down here just a bit and you'll see the green download button. Go ahead and click on download. Now this part can take some time. I've noticed uh, it really depends on ROMs Mania servers. Also, it depends on your cellular connection or your Wi-Fi connection. Um, one nice feature about um, iOS 13 is see you get a prompt here, click on download. And then the nice thing about iOS 13 is you can see your download progress from that little button in Safari. So that's really nice. Uh, and as you can see, it's pretty slow. It's only 7.6 megabytes, uh, but it is taking a while. Uh, so I'll be back once it's done downloading. All right, it is now done downloading from here. Uh, with this open, you can just click on the actual zip file. And as you can see, it jumps into your download section here. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just go ahead and click on the zip. And as you can see, it has changed it and you got the uh, GBA4 iOS kind of logo. Click on it again here. Uh, and then you click on the little button down here. No, I take that back. Uh, you open on this guy here and then you can copy to 
uh, copy to GBA for iOS. So not not the little list icon here, but the actual little share icon. Uh, go ahead and share it and copy it to GBA for iOS. And as you can see, it is now copying it to GBA for iOS. And from here, all you got to do is click on the game. And now you can play it with a PS4 or Xbox One controller, which is pretty dang awesome. So as you can see, I can just click through the menus. We'll just click on number one. I'll just do, uh, I don't want to spend too much time doing this. So let's just be ABC. Go down to end. And as you guys can see, we're natively playing this on iOS 13. No jailbreak connected to the PS4 controller. Like I said, this, this is so cool. I've been waiting for Apple to do this for years and years and years. <laughs> I've covered a lot of uh, emulators in my time. Um, so yeah, this is basically how you're going to play uh, GBA for iOS, like I said, on iOS 13 with controllers. Again, all the links for everything will be down in the description. Let's we'll see if I can't actually get through this dialogue here so we can get to a little bit of gameplay so you guys can see it does work. All right, we have switched to Super Mario Brothers 3 for the Game Boy Advance because Zelda just had way too much dialogue. It was taking too long, so we switched over. Let's continue this world. I played a little bit here before I made this tutorial to make sure that this worked. And it does work very nicely. You can actually use um, the analog stick here, or you can use the D-pad, as you guys can see. Whichever you prefer. Let's go ahead and... Uh, jump into a level and I can show you guys that it does indeed work. It's really fun to play these old school games with a with an actual control. Oh, well Little distracted trying to record um, But like I was saying it, it is really cool to play these old school games with a physical controller versus using the touch controls um, It just makes the gameplay so much more authentic feeling to you know the retro vibes and having a physical controller Just it really takes it to a whole nother level Um and I find myself playing these games for hours and hours, and it reminds me of being a kid. Oh, let's fly. Uh, maybe not. Nope, we're not going to fly. Okay. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, this is how you're going to play these old school games with a controller on iOS 13. Natively, out of the box, no jailbreak needed. Seriously cool. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future... Don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.